Well, good afternoon. And you find us out for another walk. Um, somewhere a bit different today. Um, I've come this morning, I was down in Morecambe. I uh, decided to stay in this area, so I've come parked at just a little bit out of Silverdale. And this footpath will take us to the shore onto Morecambe Bay. And, and I think it's called Jenny Brown's Point or Brown's Point that we'll get to. Uh, and then we might work our way up to our side, just see what we can, just see what we can see. That's the idea, somewhere different. Um, just makes a change not to be in the Lake District, as nice as the Lake District is, just to be somewhere just slightly different. So, yeah, hope everybody enjoyed the, the two videos from the wild camping. So, and I thought yeah, I'd just do something just a little bit different so right so I've no idea what we're going to find what images we can come up with and just uh, plucked a point out on a map and thought let's go there so right I'll stop rambling and we'll see you a little bit later right we'll made it to Jenny Brown's point um, and at the moment, there's nothing particularly um, grabs me as a as a possible composition. What I did see on the way, walking down by the stream or river, I was just debating: there's a tide coming in or out, and then there was this wave. That's all I can describe it as. Um, and hopefully, you're seeing that on the video now, a wave coming up the stream. So obviously. Um, it's coming in, it's definitely coming in now. Um, we can see here, so there's this bit of um, beach just juts out into the into the bay. I'm looking across there, I don't know whether you can see it. I would imagine that's um, Hesham Power Station out there. And I think that might be a boat as well, I can see. I'm not quite sure. Um, and if we come round here, now it's looking towards Cumbria and the Lake District. I'm not quite sure which bits are which, but um, if we can work it out when I'm at home with the map, I'll, I'll put the information up. But yeah, that's so uh, many. I'll, I'll maybe just go down and see if there's any possible compositions at the moment. As I say, I'm not really seeing anything. Um, I'm just taking my fancy. Um, but the tide, yeah, it's definitely coming in now. So. Anyway, we'll just see you a little bit later. Right, well, we've had a bit of a jump. I couldn't, um, walking around that um, peninsula just south of Silverside, I couldn't, I didn't actually know a composition grabbed me. And then um, I was going to stop some refreshments, but it started raining quite a bit. So um, I sort of half abandoned the day. Uh, we're now, now that was Sunday, we're now Tuesday and I've come back and we're actually at Arnside which is well, two or three miles north of where we are before come to where as you can see there there's the, the, the viaduct that takes the railway across um, whether you'd call it a river or estuary I'm not quite sure and across the other side um, you can't, you'd probably see it a bit better if we go further down is uh, Grange over Sands. So I'll come back for a wander to partly to s try and get some images and partly to, to finish off the video. Uh, yeah, it was an interesting day on Sunday, but um, I don't know whether I wasn't quite feeling it or what, but then it, when it started raining, uh, nothing was particularly grabbing me. Um, I did come here to have a look and thought this was quite a good area. Um, the high tide's about seven o'clock, um, so what I might do is just try and come up with a composition now. Uh, have a bit of a wander around, come up with a composition, uh, take some images as we are at the moment, and then we'll see how things go. Uh, I swear, as you can see, that it's where I parked the uh, the van. So maybe come back here for for sunset, see what that's going to do we're not quite sure so 
Yeah, we'll have a bit of a mooch around just around here, see if we can come up with a composition, and then we'll see you a bit later. Right, well, we've come along to this pier here, um, and I've taken some handheld shots. That, that's, as you can see, that's more or less the, the composition there, with the, the pier going out, possibly as a sort of a leading line, but coming up the, um, the left-hand side of the the image there and then the viaduct going uh, across. I think it makes a, a reasonable image. I mean, I think it might be quite good to come back here uh, a lot later when it, we're getting towards sunset, etc. And the pictures I did get, I did get a train going across. So we'll see what they come out like and, and whatever's best we'll put up on the video. And now we're gonna head um, follow the footpath down down the coast there so yeah we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've come along the um, the river or estuary, whatever you want to call it, and the tide is coming, it's slowly rising up. Um, and I'm recording on my phone as well, the map, so you can see there we've come along from Ironside, where at the viaduct, near the viaduct, and we've come almost to Blackstone Point. Uh, the reason I've stopped here, rather than um, going round as, as it were to to Blackstone Point which will be in that direction is once we get there yeah we'll be able to see out to sea and maybe get a composition of um, as we can see if we look across there and if we move the map slightly um, that's Grange over Sands um, but what I thought would be quite good um, from here is a composition looking back to our side and the viaduct so i'm going to actually get the tripod out for for that and if i just hold up there and then what i'm planning on doing i don't know whether you can see if we zoom in on the map there we've got our side not wood and there's a bit of a viewpoint and i'm hoping from if we go up there we'll be able to look down on the town and the viaduct and get quite a good composition i don't know whether we can see if we just come down to the water's edge, not into the water though, it's quite deep here. I think it's up up there somewhere. The wood that you can see immediately here, um, if we zoom back out, is, is this one here, which is Firth Wood. Um, so we're going to go around Firth Wood and then sort of circumnavigate it around to New Barns. And then there's a footpath that will take us up onto um, Arnside Knot, where hopefully we'll get a good view. So that's the plan. Um, I'll set up this composition. I, I probably won't video it. I mean, you can see the composition here. I might get quite low. So we've got the foreground, and then we've got the town and the viaduct. It'll probably not quite sure whether it'll, it'll be around the 70 mil mark so whether i'll do it with the 24 70 i'll get the 70 to 200 out i'm not quite sure but um yeah i want that uh if it's any good and i'm sure it'll be acceptable i'm not saying it'll be stunning and uh, because the light isn't particularly stunning at the moment we'll put the uh the image up on the video after this so we'll see you a little bit later right I did decide to video it because um, if I get down low again, if you see the composition, we've got the foreground 
and then the, the viaduct in the background and what I've decided to do just um, is focus stack it so um, the first image was focused on um, uh, well, a little in front of the viaduct, but to get the viaduct, etc., in focus. But then the foreground was quite blurred, so I've taken another image um, focused on the foreground, and then we'll stack those on the computer. Um, so I just thought I'd stop. Uh, the other thing, just to say, which I might put up, I've taken a number of handheld. Well, all the images up to to these ones have been handheld because uh, of people being about, etc. Um, but I did take one or two as I was walking down here so if any of those uh, are any good I'll, I'll, I'll put them up so yeah that's the um, that's this one so yeah we'll um, carry on and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've made it to the top of um, Arnside Knot, um, yeah and there's quite a good view, I mean they've got these, I don't know how well you can um, see these, they've got these uh, explana explanation um, panels, that's one looking um, uh, south I suppose. Right, because that's probably looking west, slightly west. Oops, let's just come up a bit. Don't know how well you can see that, but uh, it's showing things like high rise, skiddle, seat saddle, sand, seat sandal, helvellan. Although it's it's not that it's difficult to work out um, what is actually what on um, the thing and then there's one here uh, I suppose that's looking actually looking north this yeah that's where it's north so yeah I mean it's um, let's just straighten that up that's uh, a good view particularly looking across here um, it's implying how valens in that sort of direction and um, Possibly the the furthest one you can see um, would be um, uh, Skidder, I think. And then we come round here to um, where Scarfell is. I don't think it's actually ma marked on the. Um, you got Kringle Crags, Bowfell, Glaramara, etc., and then coming round to the Coniston of Old Man, etc. So. Yeah, I mean it's a, it's not that high. It's a, the path's not not brilliant to find. Um, 
and this is a path but we're not on a public footpath here and then obviously going out there you're into Morecambe Bay and then out into the Irish Sea so yeah what I'm going to try and do uh, I've decided I'm going to entitle this uh, video views of a viaduct um, so you can see down there there's the viaduct I'm just going to um, have a search around and try and find a reasonable composition of the viaduct and then I'm going to head um, back down. I mean it's, it's, it should be more or less high tide now but there seems to be a lot of, um, still a lot of sand exposed so maybe it's still got a bit to go I'm not quite sure so. Um, but we'll get a view from up here and then yeah I'll head back down and we might be getting ish towards um, getting towards sunset and whether there is a, a good composition and whether there's going to be a sunset I'm not quite sure so let's say we'll have a mooch around here uh, try and find a composition and we'll see you a little bit later right well we've come just down from the top a little bit uh, that's the top up there I'm just come down here uh, and there you can see the camera and there you can see, um, uh, yeah, look into the viaduct. So that, that's the composition we've come up with. Um, what I'm surprised at, it's supposed to be more or less high tide, but there's not as much water as I thought there would be. Uh, I thought it would be higher, um, but it's not particularly. And I mean, um, if we look at the back of the camera there, um, it was F11, 60th of a second, 100 ISO, um, and you can see I'm doing it as a six by uh, nine by 16 crop. Uh, I may, I mean, I may even crop it even further. And we've got the 70 to 200 on, and we've got it set about 200. Sorry, not 200, 100 mil. So, yeah, that's that's the composition. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. It's it's good to to get to try and get different views. I'm wondering if I can go down whether I go to the other side of the railway. There might be a bit of a view, but I'm not not quite sure. But um, yeah, if the if the composite if the image is any good, I'll put it up on the video. Um, and now I'm going to um, yeah make my way back down into Arnside and and see what compositions and that and see what the um, the sun's going to do at sunset so yeah it's it's a nice day though just just sitting here there's a bit of standing here there's a bit of a breeze and the view is magnificent I'm just surprised that there isn't more water but um, there you go it obviously it varies from tide to tide so anyway I'll stop rambling and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we found ourselves back in Arnside and it's probably about, well just under maybe an hour and three quarters now to sunrise, uh, sunrise, sunset. So I thought I'll just um, relax, have some um, refreshments and then we'll go and find um, somewhere out there. I mean there's the uh, viaduct across there and obviously there's the, the river there so I'll find a um, composition um, uh, and quite um, quite hopeful that the, that the clouds in the sky I think are suitable to getting some colour so I think it's worth hanging around so 
Yeah, I'm sorry if it's a little bit boring this because um, it's ended up being um, images of, of the same thing but from different perspectives, i.e. Uh, the viaduct. So, yeah, we'll, um, we'll enjoy this. I okay, think we'll go and try and find somewhere to um, get a sunset composition and we'll hopefully get some good images. So, we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've chosen our composition as the sun goes down. Unfortunately the clouds in the sky are clearing a bit so whether we'll actually get any colour. Um, but we've come right and you can see there that's the embankment and that's the railway line. Um, and there's the viaduct. So we've come right up close uh, and the sun's hopefully going to sink um, below it. So well, what I'm hoping is that as it goes down we can get um, a starburst type um, sunburst on as it goes down below the the viaduct. Uh, we've probably got about an hour, half an hour, an hour to wait so we'll just have to sit it out and see what happens so yeah we'll see you a bit later. Right, that's it for today then, um, not quite sure, unfortunately the clouds that I thought were going to cause some colour just had evaporated away but at the time of sunset, so um, no, um, we'll see what the, the images come out like. Um, I did take a couple of handheld ones as I got back to the, the PO which is where I took the original pictures right at towards the beginning of this video um, if they were any good you'll have already seen them so thank you for watching um, and just to remind you um, if you've enjoyed it please click the thumbs up if you like what I'm doing please subscribe and whatever you do if there's anything um, please comment because it is most useful helps the channel it helps me as well so yeah um, because again, as normal, I'm not quite sure what we're doing next, um, but we'll be getting out somewhere, so um, yeah, it's been a good day, um, you'll have seen that I'll have put the map up of where I've been, etc, so just heading back to the van now, um, and then we've got to, I think we've got time to nip to Aldi and Kendall on the way back, just one or two things we need. So we'll go there, head home, and then we'll have a, an extremely late tea. So, yeah, it's um, it's good to come out somewhere different, though. Yeah, it's just the same on Sunday, I think. I don't know what was wrong with me, but then it was raining, etc. And I think the bit of the peninsula at Silver, Silverdale isn't... Um, as photogenic as maybe around here um, but I mean it's interesting it'll be interesting to see um, given that all the images are of the viaduct but from different perspectives how they do compare uh, I mean it'd be useful if anybody's got their favorite 
that there were comments that will be useful help me know what people like I mean obviously I'll choose my favourite but uh, yeah so we'll stop rambling there and we'll sign off and we'll see you on the next video